All right, let's go. All right, it's another beautiful spring day. Now we got plans to get out of there tonight and try to get on some more channel catfish. So we're out here right now. Is that you moving it or? Or is it the wind? So we're out here right now just trying to catch some bait fish, see if we can get some bluegill or pumpkin seed or anything like that. And if we're lucky, maybe we'll even get some, uh, some nice crappie we can take home. So we'll see. That was close. That was close. I think I might be getting some hits here, Wesley. Oh, I got one. Minnow for the win. Is it a crappie? Look at that, boy. Yep. Little black crappie. Look at that. Too bad it's too small to keep. Nice, though. That's a, a good sign. They want the minnows. Flick it sideways. Don't try to go overhead because you got all those trees. Just kind of like softly throw it out. Softly. Don't reel it all the way into your bobber stop because I think it's getting caught. Yeah, stop right there and just gently throw it out. Here we go. Got one. Another crappie. Too bad they're small. But that's good, man, that the crappie are starting to bite. Come on, man. Too small, but another black crappie. Problem is, we're going to go through these minnows super fast. Should have got three dozen instead of two. Also, we can't, we need bait fish and we can't keep a crappie under nine inches. That minnow's wiggling good. There we go, that's a better spot. Got one, Wesley. Two, but they're small though, man. That's the problem. Another black crappie, but it's tiny. We need some big boys or some bait fish. And I got to keep my minnow. How about that? Well, I guess we don't get any uh, bait fish we can keep. We can always use chicken breast. Ah, lost my minnow. You got one? Bluegill, nice. Sweet, man. That's a perfect size too for a little cut bait. Or you just like, you were just dipping it in the water trying to, yep. trying to entice them. Nice, man. I bet that made your day. You, you were waiting for that all day, weren't you? Yeah. Nice. What were your... I'll just keep him in here to keep him fresh, but he's gonna die. All right, get some more. That's perfect. That'll give us what we need for tonight. All right, after a semi-successful day trying to catch bait, we got one bluegill the rest were those tiny crappie so we do have a little bit of cut bait to use and we will also be using our garlic chicken breast and we have garlic shrimp so we'll uh we'll put them all out there at one point or another and see which one has the best results and right now we're gonna get all set up and get our lines in the water all right, so as I was saying, uh, tonight we're using a garlic, garlic coated shrimp, garlic coated chicken breast, which has been working really, really good lately. And we also have a nice little bluegill that we caught earlier today. So what are you starting with, Wesley? Chicken, shrimp, or bluegill? I think I'll start today with the bluegill. Head, tail, or middle? Middle. Middle? All right. Good, nice middle piece. Thought you were going to go with the head. Ouch. 
shit. Alright, there we go. Bluegill on the hook. You went to the right, so I'll put you over here. Maybe the fish will smell the blood. So as mentioned, I'm gonna go with the chicken breast. So get that on my hook and get it out there and then give myself some first aid. There we go. Now we wait. Tighten your line up. Tighten your line up. Something's hitting it, but it's not really committing to it. Let's tighten this up a little bit. Which one is it? Wesley, get ready. Something's on this one. On this one, mine. Hold on, I'll tell you when to take it. Take it, take it, man. Wait, wait. Nope. Put it back. Tighten it back up. See if it comes back. It's not always going to jingle that bell. Sometimes you, it's just you got to watch the line. Because it was pulling on the line, but it wasn't pulling hard enough to jingle the bell. Wait, wait. Something's there. Just gotta wait for it to commit to it. It could be just something small playing with it, you know what I mean? Well, get ready. It's gotta be something. Wait. If it bends, you take it. Something's definitely out there. Alright, I think it might be gone. Alright, so, I was reeling this back in real quick just to check the bait. And the fish is actually on there. So, it's a small one, but... It's actually still heavy. A bullhead. A bullhead cat. So. Can you give me my tool? Yeah. That hook like went all the way through his lip, so it's just hanging there. Man, he's so weird. Chill out, dude. Alright, there he is. He's talking to us. Meowing away, but just a little bullhead catfish, I believe. Um, it was crazy. You know, he, he must have been on that line the whole time. And uh, mm -hmm. just just playing, you know, just barely moving around down there. We went to reel it back in to check the bait, and he was on there. So, small, but we're on the board. Let's see what else we can get. Coyotes. Well, we didn't end up uh, catching any more catfish after that small one. Uh, <clears throat> it's uh, going on 11 o'clock at night and Wesley's starting to get tired. And also, uh, there were 
there's some uh, coyotes starting to howl around us and he didn't like that very much so we had to pack it up and get on down the road so we can get home and get some rest but we'll be back at it again hopefully we can catch something bigger next time but until then stay tuned Thank mm -hmm. you.